Our next story is about bird flu. From Antarctica to America, it's spreading everywhere. In the South Pole, thousands of penguins are dead. In America, thousands of cattle are infected. And not just that, even humans are affected now. A man in Texas has been infected with the virus. It was after he came in touch with sick cows. Does that mean the virus could spread to more humans? America's top disease control body says no. That's the CDC. It believes the rate of transmission to humans is still low, but scientists are urging caution. Could bird flu become the next pandemic? Our next report tells you. Antarctica, it's one of the harshest environments on Earth. Yet in this pristine wilderness, life continues to flourish. But that life is now facing a hidden threat, the H5N1 virus, commonly known as the bird flu virus. It reached the region last year, and since then it has been killing the wildlife there. The biggest victim are penguins. Last month, a scientific exploration found at least 532 dead Adelie penguins. Many of them were frozen solid, others were covered in snow. While the team couldn't tally all the carcasses, they believe thousands more could be dead. The scientific community is worried about big risks because there are species in danger of extinction, such as emperor penguins and other birds. Also, it is because of the crowded behavior of penguins when they form reproductive colonies. This may promote and increase the disease transmission rate among various bird colonies. But it's not just Antarctica that's affected. Avian influenza is sweeping the United States. The first cases emerged in 2021. It was detected in wild migratory birds. Soon it spread to poultry farms. In 2023, the US went through its worst outbreak of the bird flu. Now it's spreading to other mammals like dairy cows. It has infected herds of cows across the state. But the problem is not just limited to cows. A person has tested positive for bird flu. This was in the state of Texas. He is said to have come in contact with sick cows. Which brings us to the question, should you be worried? First, let's take a look at the H5N1 virus. It was first reported in China in 1996. It's a type of influenza virus, one that causes severe respiratory diseases in birds. But the virus is occasionally known to spread to humans as well. Symptoms include mild illnesses, eye redness to severe pneumonia. Human infections with H5N1 were first reported in 1997. This was during a poultry outbreak in Hong Kong. So does that make it a risk to humans? 873 humans have been infected with H5N1 avian flu in 20 years. 458 have died. That's a fatality rate of more than 50%. India reported its first case and death due to H5N1 in 2021. So, can it cause the next pandemic? For now, avian influenza is not on the WHO's priority list. It's not part of pathogens with pandemic potential. The CDC, or Centers for Disease Control and Prevention too, say the risk remains low. So, the, the risk to most, most people is very, very low. It's important to remember that individuals who are interacting with livestock or other animals that have avian influenza, really it's important to connect to public health and medical care to make sure that you're being observed. But again, for most people, if you're not exposed to these animals, um, the risk is, is very, very low. But scientists have called for more tests. The need of the hour is containing the spread. More people need to be tested, more animals need to be vaccinated, and interaction with infected animals should be monitored. One case may not be enough to trigger a pandemic, but it's better to be safe than sorry.